don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Advertise with Sahara Football. Call us now. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. We're going to talk more football. As usual, I'm your host, Salasi Fiawe. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Black Star squad that has been named by Kwesi Apia. This squad is going to face Kenya in the final AFCON 2019 qualifier game. Yes, so this squad will face um, the Kenya on the 23rd of March. That's the date that has come out now on the 23rd. On the 23rd of March, this squad will face Kenya in, at the Accra Sports Stadium. On that same day, actually, the Black Meteors will play. I'll be taking to the squad. But what I can let you know is that three Kumasi Asante Kotoko players have been called. I'll reveal them in this video. Also, Jeffrey Schlopp is back in the Black Stars full. Yes, and I'll bring you the full list. Then I'm also going to talk to you about who the, who the captain of the Black Stars is for the game against Kenya as well. I'm also going to talk to you about Emmanuel Frimpong. If you remember Emmanuel Frimpong, Emmanuel Frimpong has played for us now before. He's a Kenyan and he's 27 years old. And surprise, surprise, he has retired. I'll let you know what led to that decision. So if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So let me just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with the Black Star squad for the AFCON and AFCON 2019 final game with Kenya. I'm going to take you through the squad and it's quite an interesting squad. I think this, uh, this is a great, great selection. This is a crop of best players in Ghana. Debuts for Joseph Edu of the gang. I've been talking about him here on this channel. Performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Finally, Joseph Edu has been included by Coach Kwesiapia along a host of other players who have already been playing with the squad already so the story says black stars coach kwesia pia has named the squad to face kenya for the last afghan qualifier with five debutants in the lineup now joseph edu of genk and esther sante of al jazeera in the uae bonsu and amos frempong of kumasi asante kotoko and turkish based caleb ekuban are the debutants they will look to impress kwesia pia so this is the full squad here on your screen right now with the goalkeepers, we have Richard Ofori of Maritzburg in South Africa, Lawrence Atizigi of Socho in France. I've been talking about him here on performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Felix Anan of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. This guy is a fan favorite, and there's so many calls for him to be introduced in the Black Star squad. Remember, he was called last year, but unfortunately, he couldn't play in that game against Sierra Leone, which was postponed. And the defenders are Kojoa Samo of Inter Milan. Lomo Agbenyenu of Wetstepe in Turkey, Ian Diadom of Reading Football Club in England, Amos Frempong of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Ghana, Kasim Nuhu of Hoffenheim, Germany, Nicolas Opoku of Udinese in Italy, John Boy of Metz in France, Joseph Aidu of Genk in Belgium. Now the midfield is composed of Andre Ayu, Andre Ayu, Fenabachi, Turkey. Mubarak Wakasu of Alaves in Spain, Christian Atu of Newcastle, England, Kwame Bonsu, Kwame Conte, popularly known by the Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans, Ernesto Sante of Al Jazeera, Thomas Pate of Atletico Madrid, Alhassan Wakasu of Victoria SC Portugal, Jeffrey Schlupp of Crystal Palace in England, Alfred Duncan of Sassuolo as well. Now the strikers are Caleb Ansa Ekuban of Trasbon Sport in Turkey, Jordan Ayu of New of Crystal Palace, Emmanuel Boateng of Delhi and Yifang. You remember I brought a story to you about Emmanuel Boateng and allaying fears that his position is not under threat and Kwesia Pia of AFC Wilboden. You will notice here that there is no Asamoah Jan for the Black Stars this time around. Asamoah Jan has not been called to the black stars this time around and he's the exclusion to this lineup and uh, let me know your thoughts about this and squad squad that has been called by Kwesi Apia for the clash against Kenya on the 23rd of March let me know your thoughts about this squad do you think this is the best do you think some players should have been included what do you think about all this let me know your thoughts in the comments box I feel this squad is quite great I think it's okay it's well balanced the striking options I like. Jordan Ayu has been good for Crystal Palace this year, this calendar year in particular. Last, the last 
year and in the latter part of the year 2018 he wasn't so great Emmanuel Boateng is still a great player for Daily and Yifang albeit being in China and you know people and their lack of respect or acknowledgement for the Chinese league it's it's a it's quite a balanced squad in my opinion I feel this will be a great squad to beat Kenya convincingly Kwame Bonsu and Thomas Partey I can't wait to see those two in action together it's going to be an interesting qualifier game against Kenya on the 23rd of March. You can be sure this channel will bring you the updates you need on that. So to my next story, it's about who is going to captain the Black Star squad. And no surprise that deputy captain is taking the place of the main captain who has been included from the squad. That is Asamoah Jan. I don't know if Asamoah Jan will go to the AFCON 2019, but the story says here, Fenerbahce star, Andrea, you will captain Ghana Black Stars when they face Kenya in the final AFCON qualifier game in March. Now, Andrea, you will take the captain armband in the absence of Asamoah Jan. Asamoah Jan was left out by Kwesiapia due to lack of appearance for his Turkish club. Andrea, you is having a fine season with Fenerbahce. The midfielder has scored five goals in 22 appearances for the club. Ghana will play Kenya as both teams will battle for the top spot in the group i think the top spot will see how each team is seeded and all that so it's really really important ghana wins it and andrea you'll be leading out the squad on this occasion no asamoah chan unfortunately so andrea is the captain for the squad currently so to my next story and it's about the black stars again um the black stars you know will come ahead of the afcon 2019 and the camping issues have to be sorted. Coach Kwesia Pia is torn between Qatar and Turkey and he has yet to decide where he wants them to base. But the story says Kwesia Pia, Black Stars coach, is expected to communicate the team's camping base for the AFCON 2019 when he returns to the country on Saturday. Now, the Ghana, International, Ghana National Boss, together with the first team coach assistant, first team assistant Ibrahim Tanko, have been on a dual mission of scouting for a suitable pre-tournament camping place for the upcoming tournament in Egypt and player visitations across Europe. Two destinations, Qatar and Turkey, both a little over two and a three over two and three hour flight dis distances respectively from Cairo were earmarked by Fokusia Pia to scout and choose in consultation with the playing body before communicating the choice to the normalization committee in an official report. Kwesi returns on 9th of March, then we know the choice what the choice is. The time we don't want this time we don't want the old way of doing things where the GFA will send its members as advanced party, the spokesperson of the normalization committee said. In recent years, Ghana has used the United Arab Emirates, specifically Dubai, twice as pre tournament space for some nations cup campaigns. While the 2013 AFCON in South Africa and the recent one Gabon during the Avram Grant era. Meanwhile, both Kwesia P and Tanko paid visits to a number of Black Stars players in Italy, Spain, France, Belgium, and now Turkey, where the former is situated at the time of this report over the past two weeks. So, this is um, Kwesia Pia was at the Mazda Antikotoko versus Al Hilal Clash. He was there, and this was when the final squad was announced. It has still not been determined where the Black Stars will be basing camp. As and when I know that, I'll let you guys know. So it's between Qatar and Turkey. So that, that's where the Black Stars will be basing camp at currently. So to my final story, it has to do with Black Stars player Emmanuel Frimpong. You can see him here on your screen. Has played for Arsenal before. He has played for so many top clubs. But now he has retired. He's retiring at the age of 27. I wonder why that is. The story says former Ghana and Arsenal midfielder Emmanuel Dench Frimpong. Emmanuel Frimpong has announced his retirement from football at the age of just 27. Now the midfielder who joined the Ghanaians at the age of nine and makes six first team appearances has struggled with a knee injury for the past five years. And the Ghanaian free agent who last played for Turkish outfit Ernest Ahrid. Ari Dupau in 2017 has decided it is time to hang up his boots. Frank Paul announced his retirement on Twitter and thanked all his all that have been supportive through his football journey. 
it is great it is with great sadness i have decided to retire from professional football from point road i've had problems with my knee for the last five years or so and have got back to play at a professional level but since november 2017 i haven't been in action as i had a tear in my knee ligament i decided with my own will that i would not opt for the operation since i was not enjoying football and playing football through the pain i would love to thank all the clubs i have represented arsenal charlton barnsley fulham ufa afc s kills tuna afc s kills tuna and Hermes for the love and support they have given to the fan they have given and to the fans who always supported me thank you and let's see what the future holds spending time with my daughter and family the last year has made me realize i am blessed so Emmanuel Boateng there it's really really sad to see him retire from football but his knee won't allow him his knee is not allowing him to enjoy his football to play his, to his best capacity to play to his full abilities and he has to hang his boots at such a young age when most players are now hitting their prime at the age of 27 it's quite sad for Emmanuel Emmanuel Frimpon Emmanuel Frimpon there it's quite sad for him I'm, I'm really really sad that this has to happen so that has been it for today guys we we'll bring you the black star squad that is going to face kenya next weekend and let me know your thoughts on the black star squad let me know what you think about the squad do you think it's it's a right squad do you think it's a balanced squad do you think this is the best squad ghana ghana can provide do you think this is the best squad that ghana has let me know your thoughts about the black star squad and andrea you being named captain of that squad let me know your thoughts in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day